saw. I saw what happened to you. Oh, oh. Right, this is not Aisha. This oh. is me. Oh. Yes. Oh my God. Oh, what's happened to me? What's happened to my beautiful visage? Oh, oh, oh. What has happened? I feel old. How old am I? You feel old? Yes. Uh, you are 80 years old complete. Oh my yes. God, if I'm 80 years old, then you are 97. <laughs> 96 and a half. Wow, who cares? What year are we in? What, what a stupid question is that? What year? This is 2052, don't you know? Are my mutual funds elapsed in 44? Why didn't you wake me up? Yeah. What episode have we reached? 4,000 episode of the week that wasn't. <laughs> Oh, episode. Yes. What kind of government allows that? Uh, which reminds me, uh, which government is in power? Government? Yes, who's ruling it? It is India? the Congress. The Congress? The c c c Congress? What happened to Narendra Bhai? Narendra Bhai? Modi? Huh? Unfortunately, he never had any children. Still coming to you live from a garage in Mulbar Hill, it's the week that wasn't the best of 400 episodes. If you pull my ear, I find my nose twitches to the right. Why is that, Aisha? It is because you have become very old. Now stop all this rubbish and get ready. You have got to go for shoot for your 4,000th episode of Vic That Wasn't. What? 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 4,000th episode, four, I told you. 4,000th right. yeah. episode? Are you mad? Yeah. I don't even know what's happening in the world. What's happening in the news? Can you please put the radio or television on so no, I no, we have television let's try and put the tv on and see what is happening on tv but i saw then who's going to reach the switch it is automatic here start <laughs> namaskar this is Doordarshan News. Today, our great leader, Jawaharlal Nehru's daughter, Srimati Indira Gandhi, started her tour of Punjab. She traveled from Delhi to Amritsar by the Punjab Mail. Okay, but that, that was then. That was then. It was times were hard. They used to have these interruptions. Fair enough. Let's see what happens now. Young, young. <laughs> <laughs> Namaskar. This is Doordarshan News. Today, our great leader Sonia Gandhi started his tour of Rahul Gandhi. No. But today, our great leader Sonia Gandhi's son. Rahul Gandhi started his tour of Punjab. He travelled from Delhi to Amritsar by <laughs> Is this live? Uh, I shall then I notice that our breathing pattern mm -hmm. and our flatulence mm -hmm. is exactly the same and correlated. Same sound also. And smell. Mm -hmm. By the way, mm -hmm. 4,000th episode. Yes. Do you have any recollection of how it all started? How it all started? I think... Uh, you were a young man on the road and you were discovered by that Kaniz. Who is Kaniz? Who? Was that you or me? Who? I'm here at the historic August Kranti Maiden, where over six decades ago the Quit India movement was launched. 
Today, hundreds of gay, lesbian and bisexual Mumbaikers are participating in a march to protect their rights. It is a glorious day for sexual minorities as they take to the streets for a freedom struggle of their own. Out in the parade are unknown as well as known faces from not just the gay community, but all sexual minorities. Let's see if we can spot anyone we know. Hmm? Oh. Anyone we know? Oh, oh my God, is, is that... Is, is that Cyrus? Cyrus Barocha? No! Oh my God! Oh, you know, I always knew there was something about uh, you. Uh, uh, where, uh, where, where is your friend Kunal? Uh, Kunal uh, Vijay? Oh no, I'm not gay! Oh my I'm, God, I am so I'm proud listening. of you. Come in front of the camera. No, Let's no. give him a big round of applause. We are so it's proud of you. not my fault. I my wife. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 you're wrong. And frankly, I'm a little disgusted by this whole thing. Let me tell you, it started many, many years ago on a rainy day in Malabar Hill when my grandfather, Sorab, was a little boy. Joining us now is the Additional Director General of the Meteorology Department, Mohit G. Pavaskar. Mr. Pavaskar, Namaskar. Congratulations, your prediction of this year's rains uh, was bang on, completely accurate. How did you get it right? You see, this time we have used the latest method in meteorology department for weather forecasting here in Mumbai. Huh? Latest, huh? Like what? You have some obviously new equipment. Oh, no. It's an old instrument, but we used it properly this time. Oh, great, great. Can you show us the instrument and how it works exactly? Of course, of course. <coughs> this is the very instrument. Heads, it will rain. Tails, it won't. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. <laughs> so, what's the result? Sorry, I lost the coin. <laughs> Sorry, I lost the coin. <laughs> what rubbish you're talking. It was not on a rainy day. It was at the NCPA at a Zubin Mehta concert. I can see your lips moving, but is there anything coming out? It's the fifth symphony. Ha! Ah, Pachal Agal. I thought Maestro Zubin Mehta was joining us. Instead, I've got you. I am exponent of classical music. You can ask me anything you want. Okay, you're challenging me. <laughs> can you play me the overture from the marriage of Figaro? Le Nozze di Figaro. Are what marriage of Figaro overture you are talking about? I will play you better music from better marriage. One, two, one, two, three, four. It is a marriage song. I was talking about Mozart. You're no classical musician. All right, what rubbish? Ask me one more. One more tune. Come on, tell me what. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even humoring this complete moron. Okay, <laughs> you've heard of Don Giovanni. Of course. Okay, then uh, play me something from Don Giovanni. Uh, play me, uh, no, um, maybe the overture. Overture? Yes, the overture. Opening music. Are you talking about Opening music. Yes, Don Giovanni overture. Don Giovanni, are you easy here? Listen. Stop it! Uh, two things. That's not Don Giovanni, and that's not music. All right, this is title music of Don Shahrukh Khan version. Will you stop it? Stop it! Next you'll make Farhan sing on this show. Stop it! This is all rubbish. You're an insult to the great Zubin Mehta. I must tell you, you have no knowledge of Mozart, no knowledge of Beethoven, no Tchaikovsky, no Brahms, anyone. Okay, then I will ask you one question about the Beethoven. Beethoven, my favorite anything. Ask me anything about Ludwig van Beethoven. Do you know what Beethoven's favorite flute was? Beethoven's favorite fruit. Mm. What, what kind of question is that? Tell me, tell me, answer the question, answer the question. What was the Beethoven's favorite fruit? Uh, I have no idea. Shall I tell you? Yes. What was Beethoven's favorite fruit? 
I had people in Srinagar. Something could have happened. Okay, go away. Go away and never return. Oh, I think I just have to go to the toilet, Aisha. Um, oh, that's done. Okay, what are you doing out here? I am just trying to finish my tea and then I want to enjoy one nice cigarette. Don't, 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 don't do that. Don't you remember Ambamani Ramados? Ah. He gave an order to ban all cigarettes in October 2nd, 2008. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, Mr. B. Hegde? <laughs> <laughs> Take your time, take your time. When you're done, uh, we'd like to ask you a few questions. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, there's got plenty of time. Just go on, go on. Uh, Mr. B, <coughs> Mr. B, <coughs> ask. Mr. B, Hegde, what does the B in your surname stand for? <coughs> uh, in my first name, B, B. <coughs> B stands for Benson. Benson Hegde. <laughs> Oh, Benson and Hegde. <laughs> How funny. And your organization, SRK, what does that stand for? Anything to do with the actor? SRK stands for mm -hmm. SRK, Smokers Require Kindness. <laughs> oh, all right. So SRK is against Ramados, right? No, no, not at all, not at all. We are... <laughs> We are just against the ban on smoking. But, uh, sir, smoking is bad for health. I mean, it kills. What nonsense! <laughs> you answer my question. When do most people smoke? Uh, when do most people smoke? <laughs> when they are stressed. Right, absolutely right. Which means smoking relieves stress. The mind becomes alive, open and smarter. In fact, smokers are more intelligent than non-smokers. It is a proven fact. <laughs> <laughs> proven fact? Who proved it? Me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <coughs> I'll prove it. Take Winston Churchill. He smoked. George W. Bush doesn't smoke. So, who is more intelligent? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's unfair. One more, one more. Albert Einstein smoked couple of examples. Come on. This comparison doesn't make sense. Lalu Prasad Yadav doesn't. Who is more intelligent? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you cannot justify this, Mr. Hig David. One more, one more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shah Rukh Khan smokes. <laughs> Govinda doesn't. <laughs> Who is more intelligent? <laughs> Preposterous. <laughs> do you smoke? No. I do. Uh. That means I am more intelligent than you are, and I can prove it. Go ahead, I'm ready. I'll ask you three questions, okay? If you get even one right, you are more intelligent than I am, okay? Yeah, okay. Come, first question. What is my mother's name? How the hell am I supposed to know what your mother's name is? Wrong, wrong, wrong. Next question, I'll ask you something simpler, okay? Mm -hmm. In Indian politics, huh? Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you know Sharad Pawar? Of course, everybody knows Sharad Pawar. Okay, so, what is Sharad Pawar's wife's name? What? <laughs> How do I have any idea what his wife's... This is not politics. What, ask normal questions. Do you know what Sharad Pawar's wife's name is? I challenge you. Of course I know Sharad Pawar's wife's name. It's Mrs. Pawar. <laughs> mm. Okay, last question, okay? Very simple question, demonstration question. I have these two things in my hand. Can you see? Can you see mm. these? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ha. You have to tell me, very simple question. Which one of these two is heavier? Hmm? Um, the one in your right hand. This? This? Yeah, Stupid! Yeah, obviously. <laughs> this is a lighter! <laughs> Uh, don't you think we need to water the plants? Yes, I think it is a very good idea. Yeah. We should water the plants. But, but unfortunately, 
I don't have a mug or anything, you know. Don't, but... don't worry. I've thought it all through. Uh. Why don't you use the natural way? All right? Okay. I want to say something. Uh. Four thousand episodes of the week that Nam, Nam Suchet was a is not a mean achievement uh. and it is in English. 45 to 50 percent is English. That is true. That is true. English show. English, English show. show. Uh. It will not be successful without the support of English learning in the country. And thank God, uh. the growth of English is fast uh. and furious. Repeat. The fast growth of English is fast and furious. furious. Yeah. Repeat. Fast and furious. Who said furious? I never said furious. Achha, now I don't have any water. Why don't you water the plants? Will you hold me for a minute because yeah. I can't balance. Uh, and do it in English. I'll try. The plan to introduce English in state-run schools has been put on hold. We spoke to Professor Abo, Saw Basu, who explained to us why the Bengalis cannot teach the English. Over to Professor Bose. Taku, reason is simple. There should be no confusion. Solution is you have to teach Ingriji, English, in Bangla. Take, for example, uh, alphabet. O for Opel, <laughs> B for Big Tree, H for where, where you're going. P for Pella, that stupid Pella. And lastly, I'll say uh, E for you. You, you, and you are good people. <laughs> we can also teach primary color, Ingriji, but in Bangla. <laughs> B for violet. <laughs> I for indigo. These colors are close to farfel. B for blue, G for green, Y for yellow, O for orange, and R for red. Not income tax red, red, color red. <laughs> I've always wondered about nasty rhyme. Where the rhyme is? Yolo, yolo, dirty fella? I cannot understand. Are, are, the English. What would we do without the English? God, stand straight. Atten attention, attention. God save our gracious queen. God save our uh, glorious uh, 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 queen. One minute, one minute. Who uh, is this queen? Uh, Kangana ran out. The second. <laughs> Oh my God! Oh, it's, 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 is it the Queen? Yes, yes! Wow! Joining us now, what a show we've got for you folks. I'm so happy. We've never had such a big personality on our, on our set. Joining us now is Queen Elizabeth Windsor herself. Hello, Cyrus. You are the Queen? Yes. Queen Elizabeth, you? Yes. Queen Elizabeth Windsor? Of course, yes. Queen Elizabeth Windsor of England, Northern Ireland, Scotland and Wales, you? No, the Queen Elizabeth Windsor of Kusrubag, Rustambag, Malkambag and Dandar Parsi colony. <laughs> you're, you're Parsi? Of course. How the hell can you be called Elizabeth Windsor? Why? Windsor is not a Parsi name. Tell me one thing. If Gary, lawyer, can have an English name, why can't I? Oh, but, 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 and what about Polly Umrigar? Which Indian is called Polly? Eh? It's English. Well, that's largely a body part. I don't, uh, well. All right, we Parsis have lots of English names, you know. Green, Boys, Grant, Noble, Forbes, Polson, Fitter, Doctor, Lawyer, Barrister, Nicholson. Roach, uh, all right, got it, got it, okay, got it, understood, understood. What about the Queen then? How can you, how can you be Queen? Of course I am Queen. You were not there for my coronation. <laughs> Hang on, that's just ridiculous. What Queen? What coronation? 1952, Beauty Queen Dadar Parsi Colony. This was the tiara they gave me, you know. Beauty Queen, Dadar Parsi Colony, unbelievable. <laughs> well, I must say, you do look a little bit like the Queen of England. Obviously. What, what do you mean? What do you mean when you say obviously? The Queen Elizabeth has Parsi blood. Oh my, what? I, wow, what? Oh, come on, Cyrus. You are a Parsi. You should know. I, 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 but this is unbelievable. I really don't. How the, I mean, how does the Queen have Parsi blood? You see, the crap, Cyrus, it is in the genes. Huh? <laughs> Look at the Prince Charles. 
He looks Parsi. And from which angle? <laughs> which angle? From the right profile. Have you seen his nose? Parsi. Ah, but that's, well, that's rude, but yeah. And then when you see him dead front, huh? Ears Parsi. Yes, there's a certain Adam Gilchrist appeal there. Yes, yes. Stop it, stop it, stop it, please. Or a Prince Charles the confirmed Parsi. No, oh, come on, he's not. Of course he is. Otherwise, tell me, which other 60-year-old man still lives with his mother? <laughs> Parsi. You've got me on that one. You've absolutely got me on that one. But you are still not royalty. Of course we are royal. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of business are you in? We have bakery. <laughs> <laughs> but, but then how does that make you royal? It is called Royal Bakery. <laughs> and my cousin has Britannia Restaurant. My brother has King Edward Cafe. My auntie has Buckingham Laundry. My son has Piccadilly Bar. And my stepbrother, Waste Minister Watt Repairs. And okay, all right, all right. You are royal. I, I just give up. Please stop it. Royal, royal. You give up? No, so that proves it. I am royal. You know, I said in. Huh? In between no, inventing the light bulb and uh, rejecting the Padma Shri no less than 34 times, uh. I have traveled so much for the show. I have given my heart and soul. I have gone to the four corners of the earth to make it a better show. You, you have traveled for the show? Yeah. You have traveled for the show? You can't hear what I'm saying. What I'm... rubbish are you talking? You did not travel anywhere, huh? You sat in the studio wearing a tie and a jacket, fully air-conditioned, and everybody else, Kanis, Gopal, Mohit, Pawan, and myself, we all travelled to very, very dangerous places. Yes, Cyrus, I am here in the border village of Pakistan, the headquarters of the Al-Qaeda, and with me a spokesperson for the Al-Qaeda, Abu al hazam Aziru Hiri Hiri, who just relates to Al Capone. <laughs> Maybe not. These Italian names are very confusing. What? Not Italian. <laughs> Whatever. Um, why don't you just ask the questions and I will translate? All right, all right. Uh, Mr. Al Zawahiri, what does the Al Qaeda represent? <laughs> yes, yes. Al Qaeda represents defensive jihad, militant self assertion, a puritanical interpretation of a religious doctrine, cosmic theological battle, and political struggle to purify tainted Islamic societies. He said all that. Uh, do you understand Arabic or do I? Next question. Okay. Uh, Mr. Al Zawahiri, what is it that Al Qaeda really wants? <laughs> Mm. Yes, yes. He says, we want blood, we want to kill, we want revenge. Vengeance. We want the United States to die and we want George W. Bush. Are you sure, Kanis, that he said all that in... <laughs> Cyrus, I have lived a large part of my life in Arabia. I see. In the Middle East. No, no, no. In Mumbai, Arabia restaurant, Great Kima Pao. It is. OK, all right, all right. Uh, Mr. Zawahiri, uh, in one word, when does this all end? In, in one word. <laughs> what, what? What did he say? What's he trying to say? Nothing, nothing. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. What did he say? What's he saying? Um, nothing. He's just clearing his throat. What? He's just getting a really bad cough. You know, I've got something great that'll fix that nasty little cough of yours. Just take two sips daily and just gargle hot water. Garam pani, garam pani. <laughs> <laughs> what fun we had on this show, what music we sang, what poetry we made. I have such beautiful memories. In fact, my first poem was the ballad of Bolaram. And it was printed in 47 newspapers simultaneously and never printed again. But such lovely, beautiful memories of song and dance. Parliament hai ye. Yahan shuru wahan khatam. Ye kursiyan hai khali kyun. Na wo samasake na hum. अजीब पार्लियामेंट है ये यहाँ शुरू वहाँ खत्म 
ये कुर्सियाँ हैं खाली क्यों न वो समझ सके न हम ये बस पा के साथ क्यों सपा खड़ी आराम से ये बस पा के साथ क्यों सपा खड़ी आराम से ये ख्वाब देखती हूँ मैं या आंख गई काम से अजीब पार्लियामेंट है ये यहाँ शुरू वहाँ खत्म ये कुर्सियाँ हैं खाली क्यों न वो समझ सके न हम ओह दिस 2052 which means my colleague kunal would have completed plastic surgery on the left pectoral <laughs> and would now look like pamela anderson in her 40s which means we would have an extension in the shoulder we that wasn't speaking of extensions did anything happen to that arvind uh, kejriwal of the aam aadmi party i wonder where he is now and whether he is happy and whether his fashion has changed drastically from muffler and topi to safari suit and county cap probably sussex my favorite county i miss the arvind kejriwal every time we used to meet in ft i would take my fly swatter and whack him and he would look at me and say i don't remember what he said but he would look at me a lot we have very strict criteria for people who wish to join the aam aadmi party good to know good to run what are these qualities that you guys are looking for unwavering honesty okay a uh, someone who does not have a dishonest bone in his uh, body this is good someone who has never been part of any corrupt activities i salute you someone who has never taken a bribe in his life may i say brilliant brilliant someone who has never given a bribe in his life fantastic my friend fantastic someone who has always put the country before himself highly commendable i bow to you someone whose character is unblemished has uh, lived a life of integrity and with a high moral code this my friend is exactly what our country needs exactly there is only one problem uh, what is that i have not found a single indian who qualifies uh, oh what, what what about me <laughs> <laughs> I must say how things have changed from 2042 to 2052 in our day an apple was computer now this is an apple very very good joke very funny why don't you try and bite into that apple and see if your teeth are working you know because at 6 o'clock today you have a dentist appointment but i don't want to go to meet any bloody dentist Okay, if you don't want to go, don't go. But at least send your teeth to him. Let me just tell you how my heart aches for all the people who appeared on the week that wasn't, and made it a glorious spectacle for all the public. I miss Leonardo DiCaprio. I miss Shoba De. I miss George Fernandez. I miss. Queen Cleopatra the second. I miss what is your aunt's name? Saraswati, that belly dancer who used to. I have to correct you at this point. The only person who did not appear on the show was the Saraswati belly dancer. But I also miss the other people who are old now. आशिकी है तेरी चाह चाह चाहेगी चाह मेरी दे दे दिल चाइनटाउन में दे दे दिल 
चाइनाटाउन में है कसम है तेरी या मिसेस प्रतिमा दिस इज नॉट इंडियन आइडल दिस इज एक्चुअली अ टॉक शो हाय साइरस आई एम जस्ट एंजॉयिंग द चाइना यू नो इट्स वेरी ब्यूटीफुल हियर यू नो दे ऑल गिव मी सच ब्यूटीफुल कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स आल्सो वेरी ब्यूटीफुल कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स रियली व्हाट काइंड ऑफ कॉम्प्लीमेंट्स You know, it's a bit complicated compliment. I did not completely understand. Uh, hey, Cyrus, maybe you can help me with your high polluting English. Uh, <laughs> of course, sir. Uh, sure. What compliment? You know, something, 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 <laughs> something. Uh, bull in China shop. <laughs> Oh, that's beautiful. What a lovely thing to say to a lady. Yes, I know that, ma'am. Uh, just a few questions about the president's trip to China. Of course, Cyrus. You are most welcome. Uh, you can ask me anything. Uh. No, that, no need for that. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Pr Pratima. Uh, Mrs. What is this, Mrs. Pratima? Just call me Pratima. Huh? Why? No, sure. I mean, ma'am, uh, ma'am. Let's move on. Do you sincerely believe that the president will achieve anything in China, considering that this kind of visit is actually more symbolic and usually heavy on ceremony and rather light on policy? I mean, eventually, the president is just a titular post. Hey, Cyrus, you are such a naughty fellow. Uh. What do you mean, ma'am? How you are using bad words like titular? <laughs> You know, in fact, <laughs> when I was young, they used to call me also very titular. <laughs> Oh, Ma'am, uh, don't go there. Don't go there. Go where? Nowhere. Don't go anywhere. I've, I've changed the subject. Oh God! I'm really right here. <laughs> president Patel met the Chinese president on Thursday, and apparently you were there. So, what do you think of the Chinese president? Who? That's right. Who? Who? Yes, who? Who? <laughs> Who, who, who? The Chinese president. Who? The Chinese president is who? You're in China and you don't know who? Who I don't know. You're talking about who? I'm talking about the Chinese president. Who? Who? Jintao. Then say that no. What who, 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 who? You are doing all the time. <laughs> okay, all right, all right. How was your meeting with who? Meeting who? Meeting who? How was it meeting President Jintao? Oh, Zinta! He is very silly. Huh? He knows nothing about the China. <laughs> What do you mean he knows nothing about China? Arey, he knows nothing. He's never heard of the Gobi Manchurian, <laughs> or the sweet and sour paneer, or the veg fried rice, or anything Chinese. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Ma I'm not sure that's a good way to judge President Zinta. But you know, he is a very big IPL fan. Who is an IPL fan? Yes, he wants to come to India for next IPL. You know, apparently his relatives also own one team in India. The president of China's relatives own an IPL. I don't believe this. Are you sure? Yes, Baba. I am quite positive. Who? Again, you are starting this who? <laughs> no, not who. I mean, uh, look. I'll rephrase that. You said the president Hu Jintao of China's relatives own an IPL team. So, what is the name of President Jintao's relative? Preeti Jintao. <laughs> that's that's that's. Look, Preeti Jint. I mean, Preeti Zinta is not related to President Hu Jintao. Really? Are you positive? Yes, I am. Oh dear! I feel so sorry when I meet him tonight. Uh. You are meeting President Hu Jintao tonight? Yes. In fact, I'm also going to sing him one welcome song. You will sing a welcome song. I hope it's not that Himesh number you were singing in the beginning. Are no, Papa. Are just a small gesture to wish him. How do you do? Oh, so you'll be singing how for who? What? Nothing, nothing. Uh, so uh, thanks, ma'am. Thank you so much. Ah, I'll sing. I'll sing. Okay. <coughs> Mera naam chin chin chu, chin chin chu, Baba chin chin chu. Rat chandni mein aur tu, hello Jintao, how do you do? I saw my beautiful first and probably last wife. Mm. I want to ask you a question and a favor. Mm. My eyesight is failing me. That's mm. probably why we've remained married. Mm. I want to know which one is pepper and which one is salt because I'm not able to see in color anymore. <coughs> Let me see. They are both salt. Pepper is over there on the table. Newspaper. It's good to see your humor standards have remained the same for 145 years. Mm. Your production level 
has done wonders for our show. Hmm. But I want to ask you, man to woman, hmm. which is the best moment of the week that wasn't that you saw? Uh, let me think. The very best. The very best the moment. Finest. The very best moment on week that wasn't is when you act actually got sacked and thrown out. <laughs> what a moment it was, what a moment. Beautiful moment, that was also my favourite. What did you say, what did you say? All I want to say is, mm. sorry to burst your bubble, mm. my name is not Aisha. Huh? Right. It is Saraswati. You were too pretty. I knew it. No, I don't know. I mean, it's. Don't ask me, Chief. I've never even seen the show, actually. Isn't Sajid Khan the host of that show? No, no, it's Cyrus Brocha. Do you think he's funny, guys? Cyrus Brocha. I don't think Cyrus Brocha is funny at all. No, no, no. Who exactly are we talking about? Is this guy the one who keeps yapping all the time, long frizzy hair? No, 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 no. That's Himesh Reshamia. I don't know what you're going to do like this. Well, at the end of the day, let's just change the host. Let's just change the host. Let's just change the host. Ladies and gentlemen, we regret to announce that Cyrus Brocha will no longer anchor the week that wasn't. <laughs> It gives us great pleasure to announce the new anchor of the show. Far more talented, far more funny, far more intelligent, the one and only Baban Irani. Hello everyone and I'm your new host, Baban Irani. Thank you. Little more, little more. <laughs> little more. <laughs> uh, that's too much. Stop it, stop it. Stop! <laughs> okay, Cyrus won't be hosting the show anymore. Wow. That was, oh, no, that's very good. Stop it. I regret that. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you'd like to know what's going to happen to Cyrus Brocha now. But for that, I need to get my makeup touched up. Makeup! Well, hurry up. <laughs> Out. Touch. Wait a minute. One moment. Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Too good looking. Out. <laughs> Sorry, Baba, I was having this very peculiar dream. You were having a dream? Yeah, it was a very peculiar dream without any pretty young girls in it. It was uh. about the 4,000th episode of the week that wasn't. You were dreaming about our 4,000th episode? Yeah, luckily, you weren't in it uh, for long. Uh. But my God. So who was in it? I don't know. I have this feeling that I was very old. I was as old as Anna Hazare. <laughs> call when she got the word she said I suppose you heard about Anna well I rushed to the window and I looked outside but I could hardly believe my eyes when I saw the hunger strike I don't know why he's fasting or where he's gonna go. I guess he's got his reason. I just don't wanna know. For so 64 years I've been scamming you all. Till Anna, Anna, who the f Anna? 64 years just waiting for a chance to tell him how I feel. Maybe get a second glance. Now I've got to get used to not eating next door with Anna. Anna, 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 who the f is Anna? Anna, Anna, who the f is Anna? <laughs> <laughs>